Hey everyone, we're going to be taking a look at chests full of ancient coins and crowns, and loads of precious jewels and artifacts. Is it any wonder that some people dedicate their lives to finding lost and sunken treasure? The bounty of bygone kings and caches from swashbuckling pirates can be found on the ocean floor. And while new discoveries are rare, some people have gotten lucky and found their fortunes. So let's begin today's video on the top 15 most amazing treasure discoveries. Number 15. The Black Swan Project When it comes to amazing treasure discoveries, it's hard to beat the horde of the Black Swan Project. It's also hard to beat the controversy surrounding it, too. In the early 2000s, Odyssey Marine Exploration discovered and recovered a mass of gold and silver coins from the ocean floor. The estimated worth of the treasure was around 500 million US dollars, and at the time of its discovery, it was the most valuable treasure trove that had ever been found. But this didn't come to light until later, because just like pirates of the past, Odyssey Marine Exploration tried to keep their find a secret. But when they tried to fly 17 tons of coins into the US, their find was made public. They were reluctant to give a location of the treasure, but when they did, the Spanish government jumped in. They caught wind of the Odyssey's discovery, and they claimed that the treasure had come from a Spanish vessel called the Nuestra Senora de las Mercedes. Apparently, the vessel had been sunk by British Navy ships in 1804, so Spain laid claim to the whole thing. It was their treasure, not Odyssey's. The whole ordeal went to court, and Spain was awarded the treasure. The hoard was flown back to Spain, where it's now on display in the National Museum of Subaquatic Archaeology in Cartagena. Number 14. The San Jose Shipwreck The San Jose Shipwreck was discovered in 2015, and with an estimated $17 billion worth of treasure, it earned the well-deserved nickname, the Holy Grail of Shipwrecks. The San Jose was a 62-gun, three-masted Spanish galleon that sank off the Barrow Islands south of Cartagena, Colombia on June 8, 1708. And considering that the ship first launched in 1698, she had a relatively short life. But this sunken ship and the bounty aboard will live on in the history books for a lot longer than she sailed the seas. The ship was located by Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute in November of 2015. This ship sank during the War of the Spanish Succession, and she was loaded with gold and silver from the mines of Potosi, Bolivia. With 11 million gold coins and 11 million doubloons on board, the $17 billion price tag of San Jose's treasure is unparalleled. Number 13. The Hand of Faith Imagine poking around with a metal detector and hearing that telltale ping. Eagerly, you start to dig, wondering what you found. An old watch, a valuable trinket, a few coins, or how about a massive gold nugget? Well, that's exactly what happened to Kevin Hillier on September 26, 1980. He unearthed the largest gold nugget ever found by a metal detector. The nugget is called the Hand of Faith, and Hillier was ecstatic to learn that this nugget weighed in at just over 59 pounds. Amazingly enough, the nugget was only 12 inches below the surface and was discovered near Kingower, Victoria, Australia. Knowing full well that he was in for a big payday, Hillier appointed Kovacs Gems and Minerals to handle the sale of the nugget. So who was in the market for a massive chunk of gold? Well, the Hand of Faith was sold to the Golden Nugget Casino chain, where it's currently on display at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas. The casino doled out more than a million dollars for possession of this record-breaking treasure find. It was a win-win for all involved. Hillier walked away a millionaire, and the casino now had a famous golden nugget to proudly display. Number 12. Bactrian Gold Some priceless treasures don't really look like treasure, worn-out gold coins and beat-up silverware. Some treasure is valuable simply because of its age or its cultural and historical significance, but the look of it is a little lackluster, to say the least. That's not the case, however, with the Bactrian gold. The Bactrian gold treasure looks like everything treasure should look like. It was first discovered in 1978 by a team of Soviet Afghan archaeologists. The team was led by Viktor Sariandai, and they were excavating a place called the Tilia Tepe, which is Persian for Golden Hill. They didn't know it at the time, but the place couldn't have been more aptly named, because the team unearthed six burial mounds and one of the biggest treasure scores of all time. The Bactrian Gold Collection contains around 20,600 items. There are ornaments and coins and assorted artifacts of silver, ivory, and gold. Some of the most famous pieces include a crown and necklaces with semi-precious stones. The treasure is around 2,000 years old, and the pieces show a variety of influences, from classical Greek to Roman to Persian. 
As such, the find caught the eye of archaeologists all over the world, since no other treasure find had so many different objects from so many different cultures. The Bactrian Gold Hoard continues to be one of the most amazing and most beautiful treasure finds to date. Number 11. Varna Necropolis The Varna Necropolis, or the Varna Cemetery as it's sometimes called, is a gold mine of a graveyard that was discovered by accident in 1972. Rachel Marinoff, an excavator operator, unearthed a few artifacts during a construction project for a canning factory. Not thinking too much of these artifacts, he put them in a shoebox, told no one, and took them home. After a few days, though, he changed his mind and decided to contact a local archaeologist. And it's a good thing he did, because the treasure he discovered there are the oldest known gold artifacts ever discovered. The Varna Necropolis was a burial site that dates back to the Chalcolithic era, the Copper era, and when I say old, I mean old. We're talking about 4500 to 4400 BC. Sometimes called Old Europe, the artifacts are from an ancient European human civilization. All in, there were 294 graves discovered at the Varna Necropolis and more than 3,000 gold artifacts. One of the most interesting finds there was something called Grave 43, which historians believe was the grave of some kind of high-status male or ruler given the amount of gold he was shrouded in. The Varna Necropolis treasure is priceless given its age. It's also priceless given the insight it affords historians about very ancient civilizations. Number 10. The Pengayuriste Treasure Another treasure find that actually looks like real treasure is the Pengayuriste Treasure. This treasure is one of the most beautiful treasure finds of all time, and since its discovery it's made more than a few jaws drop and drool. Comprising nine gold vessels, the treasure was found by accident in December 1949 by three brothers who were looking for clay at a tile factory in Bulgaria. They found what they thought was some sort of whistle, and being good boys, they told the local authorities. From there, the specialists came in and did their thing, and the whole treasure was discovered. At the time of its discovery, the Penga Yurste treasure was called one of the richest treasures to have ever been unearthed in Europe. The total weight of all the items is 14 and a half pounds, and they're all 23 karat gold. This treasure is known for its decoration. All of the objects are skillfully created with various scenes from Thracian customs, myths, and life. There are multiple scenes with Greek mythology, heroes, Dionysius, Artemis, and Apollo, and three of the items are in the shape of the goddess Aphrodite, Athena, and Hera's heads. And while it is stunning and known for its eye candy appeal, the treasure is also known for its historical significance. The treasure dates back to around the 3rd century BC, and it's believed that it was some sort of royal ceremonial set, possibly owned by a Thracian king. There's very little in the way of artifacts from that specific region and time. This treasure is the best known surviving artifacts of Thracian culture, and as such it's been shared and put on display at museums all over the world. Number 9. SS City of Cairo Despite the misleading name, the next treasure discovery is not an Egyptian city, but rather a long-lost sunken boat. The SS City of Cairo was on its way from Bombay to England in 1942, when it became the victim of World War II. The ship was torpedoed by a Nazi U-boat on November 6th and sunk. The ship was carrying 1,000 tons of silver that belonged to the UK Treasury, but given the ship's location when it sank, finding the ship was no easy task. The ship was rediscovered in 2011 by a team led by John Kingsford, who was able to locate the ship using sonar and robotics. When he found it, he contacted the Deep Ocean Search. The SS City of Cairo lay on the ocean bed split in two pieces at a record depth of 17,000 feet. So finding the ship was one thing, but recovering the treasure was another thing altogether. Given that the ship was 4,500 feet deeper than the Titanic and the waters were prone to rough weather, swells, and strong currents, collecting the bounty was a long and arduous task. It was well worth the trouble, though. Aboard the broken ship was a hoard of $34 million in silver coins, which was returned to the UK Treasury. Number 8. Staffordshire Hoard if the Staffordshire hoard had a hashtag, it might be something along the lines of hashtag gold and silver mother load. Why? Because this treasure discovery is the largest hoard of Anglo-Saxon gold and silver metalwork yet found. It's also been called the finest collection of early medieval artifacts ever discovered. Consisting of 4,600 items, the treasure features 11 pounds of gold, 3 pounds of silver, and 3,500 pieces of garnet jewelry. The treasure was discovered in 2009 in Staffordshire, England by Terry Herbert. 
The artifacts were manufactured sometime during the 6th and 7th centuries. Now, these artifacts are revered for their extremely high workmanship, for their scope and variety, and for their historical significance. Aside from three religious artifacts, the hoard is composed mostly of military items, such as helmets and sword hilts, among other things. Given the historical value of the Staffordshire hoard, it was purchased jointly by the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery and the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery under the Treasure Act of 1996 for around 5 million US dollars. Number 7. The Gruville Hoard Patience and perseverance can pay off. Just ask Reg Mead and Richard Miles. In 2012, with metal detectors in hand, they discovered the first coins of what would become the Gruville Hoard. But their discovery was not accidental. They had been searching for it for 30 years. The treasure was discovered on Jersey, which is a British island in the English Channel. Mead and Miles had heard rumors of coins being found there, so they began searching in the early 1980s, convinced that the island held some strange and marvelous treasure. They searched through three decades until finally the coins were unearthed. With the help of professional archaeologists, 70,000 coins were found in total, but it was a slow and arduous process that spanned three years as the coins were removed one by one from the earth. Also known as the Jersey Hoard, archaeologists believe that the treasure was buried sometime around 30 BC by French Celts. The Grouville Hoard is one of the biggest Iron Age hoards discovered to date and includes the largest collection of torque neck rings in Europe, as well as gold and silver jewelry and ingots. Although the actual value is not officially disclosed, conservative estimates put it at more than $6 million US. It's not known exactly how much Miles and Meade walked away with, though, but it was likely fairly lucrative for them. So even though it took more than 30 years for them to finally see the fruits of their metal-detecting labors, they're not just walking away wealthier, they're also famous in the archaeological world, too. Number 6. The Hoxney Hoard when Peter Watling lost his hammer on November 16, 1992, he asked his friend Eric Laws to help him find it. As an amateur metal detectorist and a good friend, Laws was quick to help his friend out. Little did he know that at the time, his decision would pay off big time. Instead of finding Watling's hammer, Laws found the largest hoard of late Roman gold and silver ever discovered in Britain. That's right, the largest hoard of gold and silver. It started off with a few silver spoons, some gold jewelry, and a spattering of coins. Laws notified the authorities and a team of archaeologists was dispatched to the site. Eventually, the entire Hoxney hoard was unearthed. Along with the massive and record-breaking haul of gold and silver, the Hoxney hoard also holds the record for the largest collection of 4th and 5th century coins found anywhere within the Roman Empire. The treasure was mostly inside of an oak box with other smaller cloth bags nearby. All of the items were carefully wrapped and organized, and historians believe that the hoard was only a part of the person's wealth. Included in this hoard are a number of very rare and valuable items, such as the Empress Pepper Pot and a gold body chain. Other items include more than 14,000 silver coins, 29 pieces of gold jewelry, 98 silver spoons, and 596 gold coins. The British Museum acquired the hoard in April of 1994, where it's been on display continuously ever since. The moral of the story? Be a good friend, especially if it involves metal detecting. Number 5. Caesarea Sunken Treasure The bottom of the sea is a sought-after place for treasure hunting. Ships go down, it happens, and when they do, they take more than lives with them. They take whatever treasure was on board, too. This is why a lot of treasure hunters look to the bottom of the ocean. Some pretty astounding treasures have been found there. The Caesarea Sunken Treasure is a fairly recent find, but the treasure is the largest stash ever found in its region. The treasure was first discovered by a scuba diver named Zvika Feyer in February of 2015. He was diving off the Israeli port of Caesarea when a gleam in the sand caught his eye. Because there had been a violent storm the night before, the ocean floor had been stirred up. Feyer figured that the gleam in the sand was simply the foil from a chocolate coin. But when he picked it up, he discovered that it was, in fact, a real gold coin. From there, he dug in the sand and found more and more. Fayer alerted the Caesarea authorities, who then contacted the Israeli Antiquities Authority, and they discovered hundreds more coins. In total, there were 2,000 of them found, and the coins are in remarkably good condition. The area is no stranger to treasure finds either. It was once ruled by Queen Cleopatra and then by Herod the Great. It was also the capital of the Roman province of Judea, so the waters there are ripe with unfound treasures, which is why the spot is so popular for divers. 
Most recently, in December 2021, another amazing discovery was made in the same region. The IAA found treasure from two separate shipwrecks, including what's being called the Good Shepherd Ring. The gold ring has the engraving of a young shepherd wrapped in a tunic carrying a lamb, and the value is said to be priceless. Number 4. The Antikythera Wreck The Antikythera Wreck may not be the most glamorous or most expensive treasure found in the world, but it was one of the most influential. Sometimes treasure doesn't need to be laden with jewels and dripping with gold. Sometimes its value is in its significance and rarity. The Antikythera wreck comes from a sunken ship that was discovered by sponge divers off the Greek island of Antikythera in 1900. But the treasures found there continue to baffle scientists and historians even to this day. The wreck held numerous coins, statues, and artifacts dating back to the 4th century BC. And these artifacts and treasures alone hold great historical and cultural significance, as well as a hefty price tag. But the most famous find was something called the Antikythera Mechanism. Unlike other treasures which drip with gold and jewels, this mechanism is a treasure of a different sort. It's been dubbed the world's first computer, and it's a very complex device with confusing gears. Historians believe it was used to track the moon and the sun to predict eclipses, but the complexity of the mechanism still has some historians scratching their heads. This mechanism has widely been studied since its discovery, causing some historians to wonder what else did they have that we don't know about. The wreck was abandoned for a bit, but it's been recently revisited, and it's a good thing it has, because the wreck is still unexplored and unexcavated, and new treasures are still being found. The return to the Antikythera project has brought divers back to the site, and historians believe there's still more to be discovered from this famous site. So, unlike other treasure finds where all the treasure has been reaped, it appears that the Antikythera wreck is an amazing discovery that just keeps on giving. Number 3. King Tut's Tomb King Tutankhamun, or just King Tut for short, was one of the most famous ancient Egyptian rulers that ever lived, probably the most famous. His rule was pretty short-lived, though. He became king when he was nine and died just ten years later. But his legend lives on, capturing the imaginations and fancy of historians throughout time. For a long time, it was believed that his tomb would never be found, that maybe he was laid to rest somewhere so obscure it couldn't be found, or more likely that his tomb had been destroyed. So when King Tut's tomb was discovered in 1922, you better believe it was a celebratory event. King Tut's tomb was discovered by Howard Carter near Luxor in Egypt in the Valley of the Kings. At the time, archaeologists believed that all the pharaoh's tombs had been excavated. They were wrong. Carter searched and searched and equipped only with a hardcore belief that King Tut's tomb was out there somewhere, that and had some private funding as well. After six years of searching, Carter stumbled upon a strange step underneath an old workman's hut. This step led to a staircase, which led to rooms full of treasure, which led to King Tut's tomb. He had finally found it, and now the archaeological world could rejoice. The rooms held a lot of important and invaluable artifacts and treasures. Model boats, canopic jars, statues, gold, weapons, toys, jewels, endless treasures. But the real appeal, of course, was King Tut's mummy. In total, there were 5,000 items in the tomb, and it took Carter a painstaking 10 years to properly sort and catalog it all. The treasure is truly priceless, and the discovery of King Tut's tomb and the treasure inside of it has been called one of the most important discoveries in the history of archaeology. Furthermore, the golden funnel mask of King Tut is a widely recognizable image that has become synonymous with ancient Egypt, and it's all thanks to Carter and his unrelenting perseverance and dedication. Take that, archaeological naysayers. Number 2. Titanic Treasure The Titanic needs no introduction. The ship that tempted fate and sank on our inaugural voyage is one of the most fascinating and tragic events of modern times. We all know she struck an iceberg sometime around midnight on April 14th, and a mere three hours later, down she went. The Titanic was a luxurious ship, welcoming a slew of first-class elite guests, and as such, when she went down, she took many treasures with her. Expensive necklaces donning diamonds and emeralds, pricey cufflinks, intricate brooches, rubies and sapphires, gold and silver, etc. The net worth of the treasure recovered from the ill-fated Titanic is roughly around $200 million US. But along with all the jewels and gold and silver, the Titanic offers a different type of treasure. Given the ship's fame, some of the items recovered fetched a really handsome price at auction, which goes to show the value of some things is the price we're willing to pay for it. For example, as the ship sank, band leader Wallace Hartley encouraged his band to keep playing, 
and they played themselves down with the ship. His violin was recovered and sold at auction for a staggering $1.7 million. When the ship hit the iceberg, Frederick Fleet rang a bell three times to warn of the collision. This bell is on display at the Titanic Museum in Massachusetts. A menu of the last meal served to the first-class passengers was recovered. It sold at auction in 2012 for $83,000. And a letter, the only handwritten letter that survived the sinking, written by a first-class passenger named Oscar Holverson the day before the ship sank, sold in 2014 for $166,000. Who was the letter to? His mom. These are only a few examples of the other sorts of treasure found on the Titanic. They are treasured for their sentimental value, for the stories they tell, and for their personal and human connection. If history is an ongoing story, then these treasures are the items that keep the story going, and people are willing to pay a lot of money to own a piece of the story. Number 1. The Nuestra Senora de Otocha Treasure Some treasure hunters are hobbyists. They dabble in treasure hunting from time to time. For others, though, it's a way of life. That's the case with Mel Fisher. Treasure hunter Mel Fisher spent 16 years on the hunt for the missing ship Nuestra Sonora de Otocha before finally finding it in 1985. Why would anyone spend 16 years of their life searching for a sunken ship? Well, because the ship was packed full of treasure. The Nuestra Sonora de Otocha left Havana, Cuba in 1622, and records list the treasure that was aboard. This famous ship, most commonly just called the Atocha, was on her way to Spain, but she sailed straight into a massive hurricane, which is not a good place for ships to sail. Needless to say, she sank, bringing down 260 people with her. The ship contained 40 tons of gold and silver and 70 pounds of Colombian emeralds, and when the ship went down, her treasure went with her. Until 1985, that is. Fisher was adamant on finding the lost ship, even though the hunt was often perilous. In fact, three members of his crew lost their lives during the hunt, but Fisher was relentless. Reports claim that he would not be deterred and simply said time and time again, today's the day. Well, his day did come. On July 20th, 1985, Fisher finally found the sunken ship off the Florida Keys. His tenacity paid off, too, to the tune of $400 million. 125 gold bars, 24 tons of silver bullion, 20 bronze cannons, and 1,200 pounds of silverware are just some of the items on the ship. The Atocha treasure has become the most famous shipwreck bounty ever and was declared the most valuable shipwreck in the world by Guinness World Records in 2014, which is why this particular treasure find has earned the top spot on this list of 15 amazing treasure discoveries. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you to our channel members.